Hello, we're going to start today. Good, good evening. Um, do you listen to me? Yes? Yes, teacher. Hi, thanks, Brian. Well, guys, welcome you all to our English class. Uh, as every day, we always have a like, good chance to like study and practice. And um, I know that some of you are joining. There are some other circumstances, like for example, it has been raining. Well, by, I don't know, it is raining now. So it's surprisingly that the rains is like moving around some areas here. So for that reason, we have to be very careful. Okay, so that's why. Let's see here. There are some students joining right now. That's okay. Then we're going to do that. Okay, let's see. Let's wait how many students we have right away. Just at the time we're gonna start and also we're gonna have a short backup. And I would like to ask you what we studied yesterday. Who wants to tell me what do you remember we studied? Who wants to be the first one? What do you remember we studied yesterday? ¿Qué estudiamos? A ver, ¿quién se acuerda? ¿Qué vimos? ¿Qué tema vimos? ¿Qué estructuras eh, revisamos? What we did? So help me with that, please. Okay, so let's see here. A ver, alguien? Que vimos ayer? Me preocuparía si alguien no dijera nada. A ver. The quantifier. Okay, and what qu quantifiers did, did we use? What were the ones we uh, used for our statements? A lot of, many, much. Area <laughs> local. Okay, yes, we, we, we used some quantifiers. And this is this question is vital. In this process, this question is very vital. The equation is, and what is the function of a quantifier? What do you remember the main function of a quantifier? ¿Cuál era la función de un quantifier? ¿Para qué lo usábamos? Cuando queremos denotar la cantidad de algo determinado, pero tomando en cuenta si es contable o incontable. Ok. Uh, that's great. Uh, definitely it is, right? Yeah, that's one of the ways that we are using. We're using uh, quantifiers to show uh, some amounts inside an statement. There are some amounts like a lot, a few, a little, much, many, uh, almost. We are using those quantifiers. Uh, today we have the last class for this process. And we have a conversation here, so that will help us to practice this vocabulary. As you know, this is a backup, so it's un pequeño repaso, es un pequeño repaso, y pues nos va a ayudar un poquito este repaso para reforzar eh, contenidos. Pero como les digo, ya que ustedes van con nivel pre, eh, están en preintermedio, hay dos características vitales en este proceso de nivel preintermedio a nivel intermedio. Uno, que el estudiante tenga la capacidad de poder expresarse en el idioma inglés. So you can express in English. And the second one that you can pronounce.
Look at the examples. So that's mean that you had to practice, you had to speak, produce the language. That's one of the things. That's why we need to maximize your pronunciation. And this is something that I just needed for you guys to practice. Because we know about grammars, we know about exercises. So for that reason, it's actually very valuable. Entonces, lo que necesito es que practiquemos. Veamos ahí los ejemplos. Okay, what we have to do is we're going to have a short practice. I know that we are 16 right away. And uh, I want you to listen and also the conversations. And with the partner, you will practice these conversations. I know that some of you are getting some troubles with the internet connection because it's raining. And uh, I know that it's like not so comfortable. Está lloviendo en, en algunos sectores, entonces es importante pues que estemos ahí pendientes. Y yo sé que algunos tienen dificultades con la conexión a internet. Bien, eh, vamos a iniciar con la práctica. We're going to start with the practice, with the conversation one. Voy a mandar un audio también para que usted lo pueda escuchar en ambas partes. Me dice, si están listos, are you ready? Me dicen yes or not. Yes. Yes. Thank All right, that's okay. Thanks a lot. Vamos a escuchar la primera conversación y vamos a grabar también para que usted lo pueda escuchar. How was your lunch buffet? It was all right, but it consisted mostly of snacks, dishes, most of which were fried and greasy. Mm, didn't they have any fruits or vegetables? Yes, there were some fruits and some salads, none of which look fresh. However, it doesn't sound like a good place to eat. No, it's not. I won't be going there tomorrow. Well, there are lots of restaurants near the hotel, some of which look very nice. Yes, I look forward to trying one tomorrow. So this is the first one. You will listen this uh, conversation and we will listen the second one. I'm sending you right uh, in the chat also this uh, conversation. Okay, let's practice the conversation too. Vamos con la conversación dos. So you can help me to answer in this part. Let's try. Okay, so it, it has, it, it is uh, like raining right here. Okay, let's try with this conversation number two. How is your, how is the hiring process going? So it, that is the start. How is the hiring process going? Great. We've received many good candidates, most of whom are very qualified. How are things looking for the IT department? We really need some good software developers. Things are looking good. We have several applicants, all of whom have excellent programming skills. Great. When does the second round of interviews begin? We have several scheduled next week, all of which will be held online. Great, please keep me in the loop. I will. Let's try it again. How is the hiring process going? Great, we have received many good candidates, most of whom are very qualified. How are things looking for the IT department? We really need some good software developers. Things are looking good. We have several applicants, all of whom have excellent programming skills. Great. When does the second round of interviews begin? We have several scheduled next week, all of which will be held online. Great. Please keep me in the loop. I will. Bien. Les acabo de compartir en este momento los, las, las conversaciones para que usted las pueda escuchar. Eh, las va a escuchar... Eh, no sé si pueden revisar el chat, me dicen si lo pueden ver. 
si pueden revisar el chat. Say yes or not, please. Hello? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, yes. vamos a leer el primero. Conversation yes. one, you ask questions, and then we practice conversation two. También lo puede escuchar ahí porque grabé los, los dos conversations para que usted pueda escucharlos y you can compare it. Number mm -hmm. one, man, how was the lunch buffet? Woman, it was all right, but it consisted mostly of snack dishes, most of which were fried and greasy. Man, mm, didn't they have any fruits or vegetables? Woman, yes, there were some fruits and some salads. None of which look fresh. However, man, it doesn't sound like a good place to eat. Woman, no, it's not. I won't be going there tomorrow. <laughs> well, there are lots of restaurants near the hotel. Some of which look very nice. Yes, I look forward to trying one tomorrow. Vamos a ver, veamos en, de, qué, de qué se trata la conversación. Dice, eh, sigan conmigo la lectura, right? Eh, ¿Cómo estuvo el, el, el almuerzo, el buffet almuerzo? Estuvo bien, pero consistía en la mayoría, mostly, oft, ya tenemos un countable, ya tenemos aquí un quantifier, la mayoría de eh, platillos de bocadillos, eh, la mayoría del cual estaban fritos y grasosos. Um, pero no tenían ellos frutas o vegetales. Sí, habían algunas frutas y algunas ensaladas. Pero ninguna se veía fresca. Sin embargo, that is the word. However, man, um, doesn't sound like good place to eat. No suena como un buen lugar para comer. No, no lo es. I won't be going there tomorrow. No iré mañana. Bien, hay muchos restaurantes cerca del hotel. Algunos el cual se ven muy geniales. Sí, eh, trataré eh, algunos mañana. Entonces ahí vemos que dice try one tomorrow. I look forward es como buscar, ahí right? buscaré tratar eh, de encontrar algunos. That is the conversation one. Let's try the conversation two. How was the hiring process going? Great, um, I received many good candidates. Eh, ¿Cómo es el proceso de contratación? ¿Cómo va el proceso de contratación? Genial, hemos recibido muchos buenos candidatos y la mayoría son muy calificados. ¿Y cómo son las cosas eh, en el IT department? Eh, realmente necesitamos al buenos desarrolladores de software. Eh, cosas, las cosas están bastante bien. Tenemos diferentes uh, personas que están aplicando, de cuales tienen excelentes habilidades de programación. Genial, ¿y cuál es la segunda ronda? Entre, ¿Cuándo comienza la segunda ronda de entrevistas? Eh, tenemos diferentes eh, horarios para la próxima semana. Todos el cual eh, están mantenidos en línea, es decir, online. Genial, por favor, man, manténme actualizado. I will. So we get this uh, two conversations. Eh, questions about the conversation one or conversation two or something that you want to share? Tell me, please. Questions, no questions for the moment. Bien, vamos a, vamos a trabajar en este momento en una practice. Vamos a formar los equipos y vamos a practicar esta conversación. Okay, let's see. Um, let's see the, the the students here, and we will be working in the small groups. So get ready to practice with the breakup rooms. We are actually four, three, two, three participants per room. Okay, that will be awesome. 
So get ready, guys, and practice this conversation. If you got some questions or doubt, you can also practice with the listener. Okay, let's start now, and you have some minutes to practice this conversation. Remember to use the accent, practice the pronunciation, try to give a different way, tone of voice that can help you to have a very nice pronunciation in the vocabulary. Let's go. No, it's not. I won't be going there tomorrow. Well, there are lots of restaurants near the ocean, some of which look very nice. Yes, I look forward to trying one tomorrow. Dalila? No sé si nos cambiamos el, el personaje. Sí, quizá porque no le escucho a Dalila. Hola, hola, no me escucho. Hola, hola. Sí, hoy, hoy sí. sí. Es que me bueno, entonces sí. sería, sería, ma'am. How was the learn function? Jennifer. Sería woman. Ah, oh, hago yo woman, si sí. quiere, y la otra vez. Okay. Sí, porque. Mm -hmm. okay. It was all right, but I eat consists mostly of snacks, dishes, most, most of which were fresh and great. Did, did not they have a fruit or... Better. Yes, there were some fruits and some salads, but none of which look at great weather. It does not sound like a good thing to me. No, it's not. I won't be going there tomorrow. Well, there are lots of restaurants or hotels, so very nice. Yes. Some some which look very nice. Yes, I look forward to trying one tomorrow. Conversation two. 
How is the healing process going? Great. We we received many good candidates. Most of one are very quali qualified. How how are the time looking for the IT department? We really need some good software developer. No sé qué gente. Things are looking good. We have several applic ap applicants, all of one have excellent programming skill. Great. When does the second round of interviewer begin? We have several scheduled next week, all of which will be held online. Great. Please keep me in the loop. I will. Okay. Alguien más va a participar. Brian. Pues sí, falto yo, pero no sé qué me va a hacer la segunda. Sí, sí. Some of which look very nice. Ya no está sacando. No, creo que no. Mm, creo que sí, pero sigamos. ¿Te apareció ahí? Oh. Me apareció, no, pero no va. Ajá. Bien. Um, yes, I look forward to trying one tomorrow. How is the hiring process going? Wow. We're received many good candidates. Our world are very qualified. How are things looking for the IT department? Uh, we really need some good software developers. Things are looking, we have several applicants. I'll go and have excellent programming school. Great. When does, when does the second round of interview behind. We have we have several show you next week. How much will we have online? Great. Please keep me in the loop. I will. Estaba fea la comida entonces. ¿No le gustó? La yuca quiere agarrar una un acento. Sí, pero creo que es con el tiempo. Sí, yo creo que sí, poco a poco. <coughs> pero poco, como, poco. como practicar quizás. Bueno. Desde un principio estás. <coughs> sí, sí. Desde principiante uno. Ah, qué bien. Pero algunos como que se aprende más. Tú ya empezaste con este intermedio. Yo inicié hasta en este. Ah, no, yo sentí que en los primeros como que agarraba un poquito más. Going to be going there tomorrow. Ya no va a sacar. Sí, yo creo que sí. Ya me quería doler. Um, well, after yeah, well, there are lots of restaurants near the hotel. Some of which look very nice. Yes, I look forward to trying one tomorrow. How, how is the eating process going? Thank you. 
Okay, so let's start now with the rest of the class because we have uh, 10 minutes before. So after practicing the conversation, you could listen to the audios the, of the conversation so you can focus in the, in the way how words are pronounced. People all the time ask, what should I do to get a better accent? What should I do to improve my, my English skills? Y, la, y la, la respuesta que yo les doy es práctica. Dos cosas. La práctica... Y el estar escuchando constantemente el inglés nativo. Esas son dos cosas muy importantes. Hoy en día es mucho más práctico porque tenemos muchos canales en, en línea, plataformas, donde hay series, donde hay programas donde se escucha el inglés nativo. Yo le recomiendo que escuche estos programas. Le dedique que una hora, media hora día, diaria y usted lo escucha con subtítulos o de la manera que usted lo quiera hacer. Y ahí va a ir adaptándose al acento, a la pronunciación y eso le va a servir. Créame que conozco muchas personas que han aprendido mucho inglés, han mejorado mucho su acento porque han visto programas, han estado en contacto con el idioma, es mucho más práctico. Entonces, mi recomendación es esa. Usted lo escucha, lo practica y lo desarrolla. Y eso le va a servir para mejorar el acento. Así que se lo dejo como, como tarea diario, pues algún programa, media hora, una hora en inglés. Si tiene subtítulos, pues está bien. Es opción de usted. Y trate de escuchar la pronunciación, trate de repetirla, eso ayuda muchísimo. Y es por eso que muchas personas que viajan a países de habla inglesa, pues aprenden mucho más rápido, porque están constantemente en el, en el entorno del idioma. Pero nosotros acá aprendemos también, a pesar de no estar en un país de habla inglesa, pero la práctica pues hace el maestro. So, let's continue. Well, as you know, we have the next part of this class and we're going to have some practice. We have focus on specifically exercises for the topics that we have studied. This, remember that the pre intermediate is like a backup of the previous uh, topics that we have studied in the basic English level because we're getting ready to go on to intermediate. Como estamos el paso de intermedio a básico, sabemos que hemos, estamos en pre intermedio. Ya posteriormente ustedes pasan a un nivel intermedio donde pues ya prácticamente ya vamos en una línea diferente de de práctica a nivel de inglés, el estudiante se le pide un poquito más que practique. Entonces, ahorita estamos como dando esos pasos todavía en pre intermedio para mejorar. Y tenemos que hacerlo a través de la práctica, activando su micrófono, participando. I want to practice, I want to try. Aquí no, no se castiga a nadie porque no practicó, no pronunció bien, sino más bien la práctica y eso ayuda muchísimo porque nos, nos hace quitar el miedo de hablar en público, de hablar en inglés. Como les digo, si están acá es porque ustedes tienen un nivel de inglés que tienen que mejorar y lo van a hacer a través de la comunicación activa. Okay, so we're going to start with this exercise about the present continuous or present simple. For this, I want you to help me to check the possible answers about this exercise. And uh, you will try to choose the best one. Look at the context, look at the vocabulary, because we, if we started in the past, the differences between the simple present or present simple and the present continuous. Recuerden? que habían algunas palabras que eran claves para identificar si una oración era en presente continuo o present simple. Decíamos que el present simple lo usamos para rutinas, para actividades cotidianas, actividades diarias, lo usamos para, para estructuras básicas, 
eh, usábamos el present continuous también para, para oraciones sencillas. Eh, en cambio, el present continuous decíamos de que era para acciones temporales, para acciones de periodo de tiempo corto, la usábamos para cosas que íbamos a hacer en un futuro y utilizamos palabras como now, right away, immediately, this morning, this afternoon, tonight. So we work with that. So en este momento le voy a dar unos minutitos, like around five minutes to think about which uh, structure and verb you will use for each statement. If you can see that the sentence is in simple present or the sentence is present continuous, according to the rules that we have studied. So you have a couple of minutes and I want you to focus on that. And then when we practice, you say, teacher, the answer for number one is this, number two is this, number three. So we will be completing the following exercises. Let's go now. And when you're ready, say, teacher, I finished or teacher, I'm ready. Let's go.
Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, so let's try to answer the statement. So you can help me with that. Okay, who wants to help me with the first one? I need a volunteer to answer the first. Me, teacher. Thank you. We are having dinner now. All right, that's okay because we're using now. So that's mean that is something that is happening in the precise moment. So it's happening now, okay? Thank you. And what about the next one? Number two. Me, teacher. Yes. We are, we are eating lunch at 1 p.m. At 1 p.m. So that means that the action is happening in the future, right? In a closer future at 1 p.m. So it's not the time yet. Excellent. Press and continues. Number three. Next. Number three. Y yes. Miko. Yes. He is typing at the moment. He's typing. Ah, he's typing at the moment. Okay. Yes. Nice, Brian. So he's typing at the moment. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. Number four, it. What about the number four? She's wait, waiting for him. She's, is he, she's waiting uh, for her boyfriend now. La palabra clave is now. Number uh, five, sorry, number five. It is late. It mm -hmm. is getting late. We must go home. Uh, what? Veamos el verbo que está en paréntesis. Yes. So what? Hello. It is getting late. We must go home. Okay, yeah, it, it is getting late, that's right. So we could select this one as the best first. Thank you, it's getting late. So that will be the best one. Um, what about the number six? Don't shut, I hear you perfectly. Don't shout, okay. I. I hear you perfectly. I hear. Okay. Okay, great. Okay, let's try with the next one. Number seven. I cannot ask her now. She prays or she's praying? Praying. Praying. Because yeah. we're using now. Exactly. I and uh, she is praying. That's correct. Number A. Sometimes we sometimes go. we we go because we are using sometimes. Is sometimes is an uh, upper frequency. So we use we go to bed. 
Number nine, the academic year, the academic year start or is it starting? Yes, what this could be guys. Um, start. Start. Starts, yes, it starts on October 1st. It's, it's something that starts. Very good. Number 10, I... I... I want... A negative. This I, is negative. I don't want, right? I don't want, I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to hear about it. Number 11, he for president in his election. He doesn't run for president. Uh -huh. And in este caso, la palabra this, in this election, decir, en este como elección is coming. Maybe you can say he's not running for president in this election. He is not running. Como que no se está lanzando para la presidencia en estas elecciones. And the last one. You're grown. We not expect. We don't expect any guest, right? So you're grown, we don't expect any guest. This will be the best answer for this exercise. Okay, let's continue with the next part. I don't know if you have a question. If not, we can continue with the rest of the class. I think there is not uh, inconvenience with that. Okay, let's try. Okay, in this case, what we had to do is that we have to choose the best answer. So you can help me to check what possible answers we have in this. What do you think it is? Let's try, help me with this one. And number one, what do you think would be the possible answer? The answer is? Many. Exactly. I Many. Because many is countable. Number two. Two. How much money do you have? Yes, because we're talking about money, so much is the best choice. Number three. Few. Few. Um, remember that butter is uncountable, an uncountable now. There is many, many better in the price. Well, few, 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 few. No, some, <laughs> some. In this case, the best one would be some. Number four. We don't have a link. Much time. Much. Much time. Much. 
time. Exactly. More that will be much. Time. Yes. Look at this one. It's number four is much. Let's continue with the next one. And thanks for the feedback. Okay, next, number five. Do you have? Do you have? Many meal? Many meal? Few? A few. A few. Some. Any. 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 Yes. No. No. A lot of a lot of friends. That would be the best one. So according to the the context, the first one will be the best choice. Number seven. Uh, do you have money I could borrow? Many. No. No. A Many. few. A lot. Uh, a few is contable. Mm. A little money. A little. A little money. Poco. And the number eight. There are any they are orange in the kitchen. Orange in the kitchen. Yeah. There are um, there are some, some. some. Okay. yes, there some. are some oranges. Some. Yes, there are some oranges in the kitchen. Muy bien. That's the way. Yes, that's orange. the way. <laughs> orange in the kitchen. Yeah. That's okay. So let's erase it and we go with the next one. Son money. Vamos con la parte del wood. En este caso, pues el wood es un auxiliar. Y vamos a tratar de responderlo together. So for the reason we start with the first one, he knew he would, will be or to be famous. Using wood. Will be. I knew he would be. Uh, he would be famous. Sí. Yes, yeah. Que sí. sería famoso un día. Yes, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Will be. Number two. He said that he helped me. Check that. Uh, yes, excellent. He'll help me. Great job. Number three, I asked him to walk faster, but he would, wouldn't, or oh, did. Wouldn't. I ask him to walk faster by heat. He wouldn't, right? Como queriéndole decir, pero él no lo hizo. So he wouldn't. So that is the, that is actually the way, right? So we can say the instructors and also he wouldn't. Next one. 
Number four. As children, we would to play. Play. Uh -huh. We will play together every day. Como niños jugaríamos juntos algún, todos los días. Number five. Nobody knew that one day he Wow. Who will be rich? Yes. And the last one, if you ask me, if you ask me, what do you think would be the answer here? Yes. Oh, I'll. Acuérdense que you ask me, if you ask me, I'll say you were crazy. I'll. Es I, y en ese caso cuando suena la D es I'll. I'll. I'll say you were crazy. Yes. So you can actually appreciate here these structures for the wood. Acuérdense que en este caso, pues el wood es una estructura que nos permite eh, hablar acerca de probabilidades. Algo que tú harías. Por ejemplo, I would, I would travel to Brazil, for example. Yo viajaría a Brasil. Entonces decimos, I would travel to Brazil. Eh, ya que es como una probabilidad o algo pues que te gustaría hacer. I would speak five languages. Hablaría cinco idiomas. Because it's, a, it's something that is a probability, como una probabilidad. Y pues eh, sabemos que cuando quiero hacer una contracción, pues yo le agrego una ed o como decir I would. I would y en I'll. Es prácticamente lo mismo, solo que es en forma contractada. En el caso, pues, del inglés, eh, muchas veces se usan la, las contracciones, que en inglés es contractions para generar una conversación más fluida. En el inglés escrito no se ocupan estructuras contractadas. Sí se pueden hacer, pero realmente es recomendable que sea en la, en la escritura normal, que no sea contracción para que sea mejor la conversación. Entonces, cuando es speaking, por lo general los americanos siempre usan contractions, like I, I'm done, I called, I told you, so I, I'm studying, I'm playing, I'm taking. Entonces, vamos viendo que eh, usan muchos contractions, especially for conversations. Okay, guys, we will finish our class today. I hope that you will finish the... Also the platforms, espero que termine la plataforma, eh, ya que pues prácticamente pues hemos culminado el módulo, así que eh, recuerden que el tiempo es menos, por supuesto, el nivel de práctica es menos, pero pues la práctica la hace usted en su proceso, así que sigan estudiando, sigan preparándose más, y pues eh, interesante que muy pronto pues su nivel de inglés va a ser mucho mejor todavía, así que pues sigan preparándose y completen todo para que cuando hagan la verificación en la plataforma, pues ustedes puedan eh, sin ningún problema, pues tener todo listo y pues para y esperar que le manden un correo con las nuevas instrucciones para su nuevo módulo. Y pues espero que sigan aprendiendo y practicando inglés. ¿Ya? Yeah? Thank you. Thank you, It was a pleasure, guys. God bless you, too. Good night. Good night, you too. Have a good time. It's a pleasure. Bye bye. It's a pleasure, everybody. Yeah, it was a pleasure. Thanks a lot. Thank you, you too. Vamos a hacer algo. Vamos a hacer algo antes de que se vayan. Vamos, enciendan sus cámaras y pues vamos a salir aquí en una una fotito por aquí. Ustedes también la pueden tener ahí. Así que pues ahí. Entiende sus cámaras y pues nos tomamos la foto. Ahí la manda al WhatsApp. Vaya, ahí la vamos a mandar. Así, este es eh, sonrisa de, de comercial, por favor. Ahí este, este le vamos a poner. Esta es la foto de los bilingües. ¿va? Ah. Vamos a
vamos a ver. Así que a la cuenta de uno, dos y tres. Okay, thank you guys. I will share with, with you guys later. So have a beautiful night to all of you. God bless you all, guys. We'll be in contact. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye. You too. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye.